Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Icon here, and in today's video I want to talk about one of the most crucial skills for breaking that barrier when it comes to being like a good or a decent or an average player to a well above average player, so one of the best players that you can be. And that skill is the ability to pre-fire. So I've been playing this game for a really long time, probably like a decade, and I see this happen all the time where like, I just want to, so I'm playing a public match and I'm just kind of playing with randoms and I just know that there's somebody to the right. And I can tell on screen that they also know that there's somebody to the left or the right, but they're just sitting there and they're just waiting. And rather than engage that enemy and take them by surprise, these people will just kind of sit back and just hope and pray that the enemy will go into their line of sight right so rather than being aggressive and taking that that gun battle head on they just kind of wait back and then if that happens you no longer control the engagement i really in the grand scheme of things i can't stress how important that is if you know where somebody's at you have to be the aggressor you have to go control that engagement so one of the ways that you do that is by running at that person and you know where they're at so you pre-fire and you get that kill so as we go ahead, we hop into a private match here on the map Gunrunner. I'm going to lay out a scenario for you. So let's say we're watching the headquarters of the hardpoint. There's one that's right here in the middle of the map. And let's say that we have control of the hardpoint. We have control of the headquarter. And there's, a, there's somebody on the other team shooting right here. We just know, right? If you're standing in this corner and you're watching this, you can just tell if somebody's shooting this way. You can see the bullets, right? The path of the bullets. You can see them fly as they go towards the center here. You could also hear it. So if you have a headset, or even if you have earbuds in, you'll be able to hear shots to the right. So there's two ways that we can counter this. And I see this happen with good players, and I see it happen with bad players. And there's a distinct difference in how they do it. Example A would be if we're not pre-firing. So we run out, we aim, and then we find wherever that person's at, and then we take the shot. That's one way that you could do this. And this is what I see a lot of people that aren't that good do, right? They just come out and they find the person and then they shoot. But the problem is if this person is sitting here, they're probably already ADS, right? Somewhere over here. So if they see you pop out, now they have the advantage all of a sudden because they're already ADS and they can just flinch real quick and get their shots on you. So the way that you have to counter this and the way that gives you the most chance or the highest chance of securing this kill is you have to pre-fire. So you know ex ab about where they're at, right? They're on that head glitch somewhere. So we just run forward, we'll jump, and then while we're in mid-air, we'll ADS and we'll start firing. Now, if we're not exactly on target, that's fine because we can make those minor changes left or right once we start firing and find out where the other person's at. So we'll jump out. And then we'll just do one of these. And let's say while I'm shooting, instead of their head being right there, their head's over here. Then all we have to do is just, we're already firing, we just make the adjustment over to the left. So just to kind of show this all in one motion here, you're watching the headquarters, you see somebody firing. We jump out, we ADS, we start firing, and then if we have to move our reticle, we just move our reticle. Let's say that this pole represents where the person's at, okay? So I'm going to start firing over here. The pole's where they're at. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my adjustment. So I come over here, I jump out, I fire, pole's over there, make my adjustment, and I get the kill. Now, as we go ahead and we hop back into this game of Free For All I was playing, this game gets really close at the end. So I end up picking this gameplay for a reason. At the end of this, it ends up being like 25-25. So it's an even game. And I end up winning this game simply because I pre-fired like three shots in a row. So three kills in a row. And it it's the only reason why I ended up winning that game and securing it in the end. So here in a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer over to just those last three kills. And I'm going to do them in slow motion and then I'm going to do them in real speed. I'm going to break them down in slow motion so that you can understand exactly what's going through my head. And then I'll just kind of play them in full speed and let you see the difference and let you see how it plays out in real speed. So as we go ahead and we switch over here, it's 25-25. As I'm running up here to the top of this, I start to hear somebody to my right. Right now, I hear somebody. So rather than just kind of crouch and lay down and play it easy, you're going to see I'm going to jump out and I'm going to start pre-firing and I make that minor adjustment. That guy that I just killed is the guy that's in second place. So if I don't get that kill, there's a very good chance that I end up losing this game. Now, in front of me, I see that there are people shooting inside side of this building and as this is happening I can just see I see the bullets right there you saw in the right window somebody being you know they die and they go down the stairs 
and those shots are coming from the left corner. So rather than go through the door, I'm going to jump up through this window. And as soon as I do, the first way that I'm going to look is I look over to the left. And this doesn't seem like I am right now, but I know he's there. So I end up pre-firing. I make that minor adjustment. So I end up finishing that kill. And then the last kill ends up happening behind me. And I just hear it. So I'm looking out this door because a lot of people run down this main and right now I hear somebody behind me. So rather again, rather than wait and just lay down, I end up pre-firing this. I don't know where he's at, but as I'm firing, he shows up on my screen and that person again is the person that's in second place. So if I don't finish either of those kills, I think there's a really good chance that I don't end up winning this game. So let me go ahead now. Let's go back and let's play this thing in real speed. So here we are, we're playing it in real speed. You can see how fast this is happening. I hear him, I jump out, I pre-fire. I'm still trying to secure more kills. I hear the battle in front of me and I see that guy die and fall down the stairs. So I jump up, I know he's to my left. I take those bullets and then last but not least, I look down here, I hear somebody behind me. I jump out, I pre-fire, I finish that kill and I end up winning the game. So in Call of Duty, if your goal is to become a really good player, practice pre-firing if you think you hear somebody just jump out just finish that kill i went ahead and i left this clip in here because you can see me get shotgunned by some random well, i obviously should have gotten that kill shotguns still drive me crazy but that's here for another day if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button about 75 percent of the people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed so make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos don't forget to leave a like before you head on your way thank you guys so much and i'll check you in the next one see ya